looks like, I mean, Choosy's... <laughs> it's so interesting because he can actually just kill this so easily, but he's not scouting it. Uh, meanwhile, Choosy looks like he might be going for a counterattack here with Lurker Ling. I think the Corsis might catch the tail end of this. I don't know if he's aware of this. Uh, meanwhile, Tama's going to get pushed away by three Lurkers defending a non-existent base. And it looks like here we do have a counterattack moving in. Is Choosy going to go for it? No, he's just going to borrow short and he's clumped. His Lurker is, uh, which is not good when there's Storm on the map, and Choosy's losing control of his army here. The Defilers are running in a completely random direction. Look at this, the Defilers, what are they doing? Oh my god, Choosy just falling apart here. I don't know what happened. He lost his Defilers now, and they didn't do anything. Ay, 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 Choosy, Choosy, Choosy. What is going on? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Protoss is now at 2-0, upgrading plus 3 weapons and plus 1 armor. Um, Zerg is at 2-2 two, two, though, Choosy's, uh, I mean, he got the fast double evo, so he's got nice upgrades, and it looks like Tama wants to go kill this top left, because he's convinced there's a base here when there actually isn't. This is kind of like a fake, this is, this actually reminds me of, like, those, when, uh, when, when one player puts a, blocks the ramp with a worker early in the game to deny the scout, just to fake the other guy out and make him think he's there when he's actually not. Because there's no base here, okay, now there's a base here, but, like, <laughs> he was defending empty space for a long time, but it looks like he's gonna have to cancel this. And now Tama might actually think he's further ahead than he is, because he's unaware of this fourth base. So right now, from Tama's perspective, it's three base against three base, which is very good for Protoss. That's 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 completely fine for Protoss. It's very good. He's gonna send a Zealot just to make sure there's nothing here in the top left. And while he is in fact in a very good position, it's not as good as 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 that because Chuzi does have the the nine o'clock. It's not really mining yet, but. You know, he'll be able to get some gas, uh, at least the gas guys are there soon, and you know maybe fill in some lurkers, so uh, should be able to take that nicely. Meanwhile, it looks like Tama is getting ready to take the bottom left natural as his fourth, just sending all of his units down there. Um, I think he should be a little bit careful, perhaps leave a, a Templar or two here just to defend any kind of crazy all-in counterattack by uh, by Choosy. But Choosy, meanwhile, looks like he's taking the 3 o'clock base. As I said, even though it's expanding towards the Protoss, you only have to defend a narrow ramp, so it's not too, too big of a deal, but still a little bit ballsy, a little bit ballsy. And it looks like a random OBS at the front of the base here, a random Zell just going to patrol these bases. Sorry, I lost control of my arrow keys for a second there. Uh, no additional hive tech, looks like Choosy going up to 3-3. Three, three. Nope, he's actually, oh he's already got 3 carapace, wow, Choosy with fantastic upgrades. Uh, plus 3 carapace, plus 2 melee attack against just a 2-0 Protoss. And it looks like an Observer is going to scout this 3 o'clock base. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of using Observers to scout in this matchup. Obviously, I, I, you know, you do that nicely in PvT and PvP. Uh, and, you know, like, Missouri actually told me that scouting with OBS and PvZ is good. But, in my opinion, like, Zerg is going to have Overlords all over the place. So, that is going to happen to all of your Observers. And Observers are pretty gas heavy. I mean, they're 2575, so that's a lot of gas you're wasting just to scout when you could just randomly send a Zealot or something. Anyway, uh, looks like Tama's going to break up this ramp. I don't think this is a good idea. Link's coming in here, and yeah, it looks like Tama is going to have to back up despite, uh, uh, you know, a, a much superior ground army. Just breaking into this position is not an easy feat. And one Zealot still checking out these bases, and looks like this base is, wow, getting really he heavily fortified, but doesn't really have any mining there, so it's not really yielding any benefit. Meanwhile, the bottom left natural is, uh, is almost finished for Tama. So I think he's in a pretty nice position. He's getting mined out at his main, his natural as well, but uh, he's got a really serious ground army. And uh oh, looks like Choosy might not have left enough uh, defenses at the front here. Oh no, Choosy! Choosy actually was too busy defending his expansions, and looks like he's gonna lose his natural right there. There's, there's a second spore colony in the back. He really needs a lurker. The defilers are in the wrong position there here now, but the, all the lurkers are dead. They're swarming empty ground. The Lurkers are coming in, but there's plenty of Zealots left. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. Storm on the stack. Lurkers plague on all the units, and it looks like Choosy will barely hold. I can't believe he held this. I cannot believe Choosy is alive right now. That is actually ridiculous. But it looks like he's going to lose the uh, 9 o'clock in exchange, because he had to pull all of the units from here to defend. But it looks like he's going to snipe some High Templar from the back. Uh, no. It looks like forcing a storm on his own units, so the Lurkers are just transferring. Choosy just trying to hold on here. It's just kind of scrappy defense. But I think he will actually have to just abandon this 9 o'clock. Or sorry, the 3 o'clock, rather. And he's got so much gas, he needs to, like, make, you know, 20 Lurkers or something. But he's going to back up now. And I don't know why he has that much gas without making more lurkers. Meanwhile, Thomas fourth base now has some probes transferred there. 
Um, he has mined out his main as natural though, so he's gonna be he's still just on two bases. Um, but I, with this kind of with this crown army, I, I think he's uh, absolutely fine with that. He's at three one upgrades now. Although uh, Juzi is max and sending in some zerglings, but I don't think that's gonna do anything, uh, especially with no dark swarm there. Um, between the zealots and the cannons, maybe fine. Looks like he's just gonna try and run by into the main. Uh, just to see if there's anything there and perhaps deny it, and indeed there was a probe attempting to expand, so he's going to deny that just for, or run, not deny really, but just delay that for a second. Uh, 180 supply for Tama against only 90, wow, double the supply of Choosy. Choosy is in a really rough spot right now, he's going to have to pull out something crazy to come back. And, well, I mean, ultras could be the thing, ultras are pretty good, but, I don't know, I mean, looks like, uh oh. Uh, a speech a little coming out with Storm. Interesting that he got speed. Uh, of course, he will be able to make some Reavers. Indeed, he is switching into some Reavers. Of course, uh, in the late game PvZ, you almost certainly want Reavers. And there's not actually a lot of drones here, so I'm not too, too scared of this drop. Actually, Choosy's Econ seems really, really weak. Look at how few drones he has. He's got a few at the uh, 9 o'clock now, but really, really low economy. And he might even lose uh, what little he has. Scourge moving in here, but he didn't run away. Oh, Scourge, he do get it, but the Templars get out! And Choosy loses four, five drones, I think. Uh, oh, another storm <laughs> on the Scourge, lol. That was actually really dangerous. Choosy stacked them back before the Templars were dead. But uh, he's going to take them out now. And looks like Tama's going to take the bottom left base. Um, still unaware that the that Choosy has the 9 o'clock, interestingly enough. But uh, I don't think it really matters at this point. I mean, Choosy's at, uh, you know, three base against, or four base against, uh, against... Two, almost three. Well, actually, I mean, well, I mean, Choosy's bases are getting mined out though, so it's kind of like these are both half bases. And he doesn't have many drones here, so it's really like two base against two and a half base, I guess. Either way, he's in a bad position. That's what I'm trying to say. Protoss is maxed. Um, Choosy is at 126 supply. Protoss is getting his Reaver tech. He's getting his mass archons. He's getting everything he wants. I would like to see perhaps a Robo here at this base. Oh, look at that! Just. As I say it, he plants the robo. Meanwhile, gonna deny this nine o'clock, or sorry, the three o'clock once again. Plague going down, not the best plague. Can he get another plague? Plague! Oh, oh that's a better plague. Uh, catches the DT as well, so that guy will be visible. Choosy gonna try and uh, come back with nice plagues, which I mean, that's that's a start. Um, Tama seems to have forgotten about all these probes. Should transfer these over to this base. Uh, and it looks like we do have an, uh, a Ling attack here, but look at this Tomba very smartly leaving some Zealots and a DT. He knows that the cannons will not do anything against Swarm and Lings, but it looks like he will have enough. Uh, is Choosy just going to go after the Nexus? I think he might. No, he's just going to lose everything. Alright. Alrighty then. Meanwhile, the shuttle has now been converted into uh, Reaver Transport Duty. Scourge, not going to do anything. And it looks like this could be it. Tama's going for a big push here. GG from Choosy. And Tama taking out LRM Choosy here. Not an easy feat. And we'll go up 1-0 in this best of three. Uh, good night to everybody who is leaving. Thank you for watching. And don't worry, everything will be on my YouTube channel um, at an undisclosed time in the future when I have time to do it. <clears throat> so, we are going in to game number two. Pull.